Welcome to Envision Haas. We're excited to speak with you about the business major here at UC Berkeley Haas School of Business. I'm Diana Martinez, my pronouns are she, her, and I am one of the associate directors of admissions here at the Haas undergraduate program. This is a session specifically designed for students interested in transferring to UC Berkeley and applying to the business administration major at Haas. So let's get started. But before we do, I'd like to invite you to fill out an interest form. We have this QR code here and you can go ahead and use that QR code to fill out an interest form if you'd like some more information from us. And now let's go ahead and do our land acknowledgement. The Haas School of Business recognizes that UC Berkeley sits on the territory of Huchin, the original landscape of the Chochenyo speaking Ohlone people, the successors of the sovereign Verona band of Alameda County. This region continues to be of great importance to the Mawekma Ohlone tribe and other familial descendants of the Verona band. We recognize that every member of the Berkeley community has and continues to benefit from the use and occupation of this land since the institution's founding in 1868. Consistent with our values of community inclusion and diversity, we have a responsibility to acknowledge and make visible the university's relationship to native peoples. As members of the Berkeley Haas community, it is vitally important that we not only recognize the history of the land on which we stand, but also we recognize that the Mawekma Ohlone people are alive and flourishing members of the Berkeley and broader Bay Area communities today. All right, so we are so glad that you're interested in pursuing business here at UC Berkeley. Now here's some info about UC Berkeley. We're proud to be a public institution. And here is some information about our student body. Out of the 32,479 undergraduate students, we have 76% from public high schools, 22% that are first-generation college students, 29% that are Pell Grant recipients, 65% of UC Berkeley students graduate without student debt, and 80% of UC Berkeley students graduate with a job offer or acceptance to a graduate program. And although we have a large student body, 71% of our classes have fewer than 30 students in them. And lastly, if you love sports, you'll be glad to know we have 28 different Division I sports teams. If you haven't joined an information session with the main Office of Undergraduate Admissions, we highly recommend it because you can receive more in-depth information about UC Berkeley and the admissions process to the university. Now we can share a little bit about Haas. Haas School of Business is the number one public undergraduate business program in the country. And we are ranked the number two undergraduate program overall. We're located here in the San Francisco Bay Area, very close to Silicon Valley. And location is key when you're a student because that means that if you do any internships in the area, you will be right here next to a lot of tech companies, a lot of large businesses, a lot of small businesses, startups, nonprofits, arts organizations, so many different types of diverse organizations where you can be practicing your business skills as a student. So that's very important to know. And Berkeley Haas has 41,000 alums and they have an incredible network of support. So as you can see, being a student at Berkeley Haas will not just be an incredible experience while you're a student, but also it will be a strong investment in your future. And speaking of your future, here we, on this slide, we have some career outcomes for the class of 2022. As you can see, 83% of Haas graduates either have a job or a grad school lined up after graduation. And the median starting salary for a Haas graduate is 90,000 a year. At the bottom of the slide is a breakdown 
of the job industries that Haas graduates end up working in. As you can see, about a quarter of the students go into consulting, a quarter go into tech. Banking and accounting are also really popular industries that students go into. But I will also highlight the others category because it doesn't say everything that entails. And I'd really like to highlight the diversity of the jobs that Haas students go into. The others category includes nonprofit work. It includes uh, students who are starting their own companies. It also can include students who are combining their business degree with another passion. For example, you can intersect business with medicine, intersect it with science or art, music. So there are so many different transferable skills that you can learn as a business administration major here at Berkeley Haas. Well, Haas, we are working to reshape how people do business, and these are the defining leadership principles that inform our curriculum and classes and sharply define who we are and the type of leaders we develop. Our school culture is driven by these following defining leadership principles. Question the status quo, confidence without attitude, student always, and beyond yourself. At Haas, we seek applicants who embody these leadership principles. So I invite you to look them up and read more about their definitions on our website and consider them as you're filling out your application. Let's jump into some academics. So here we have the business major requirements. For transfer students, the business administration major is a two-year program. All students who graduate from Haas will earn a Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration. The business major consists of our business core curriculum, business electives, and it's rounded out by non-business classes. And of course, you have your breadth and university requirements that you must fulfill in order to graduate from UC Berkeley. Let's talk a little bit more about the core curriculum. These are the core requirements or the 30 core business units we require of Haas students. The core allows students to learn a variety of skills that enable Haas graduates to be more agile in the job market. This is just a sample plan of the core requirements and how you might choose to space them out over your two years here at Haas. So if you want, you can do it a little differently than what's on the screen, but we just wanted to show you what it might look like for you. So these core courses are taken in conjunction with elective courses, and that's what we'll go over next. So at Haas, we do not have concentrations within the business major at this time, but we do have the elective units that allow students to dive deep into their own interests. Taking electives allows you to make this degree your own. And also I'd like to say that this is just a small list of all of our elective courses. If you're curious to see it all, you can go on UC Berkeley's course catalog, which is online. And now let's go ahead and transition into our overview of the selection criteria and application components. So these are the admissions eligibility requirements. You must have all of these things completed by the spring semester before the fall that you plan to join us here at Berkeley Haas. So, First, let's start with the prerequisite courses. You wanna complete these with a letter grade of C minus or higher. You wanna take intro to or principles of business. You want two semesters or three quarters of calculus. You want intro to macroeconomics and intro to microeconomics, intro to statistics, and also two semesters or three quarters of reading and composition. You will also need a minimum of 60 semester units or 90 quarter units. So if you have taken AP, IB, or A-levels exams, then you may be able to test out of some of these prerequisite courses. On our website, we have a whole list of the different courses that 
um, may be able to count for this and also the corresponding scores that you must earn in order to test out of some of these prerequisites. A lot of times we get asked if um, credits from AP, IB, or A levels tests can also be used for the 60 semester slash 90 quarter unit minimum. And the answer is yes, you can use it toward that as well. So all these prerequisite courses must carry a weight of either three semester units or four quarter units. And the prerequisites can't be more than five years old. So if you attend a community college in California, use assist.org to make sure your classes are the right equivalent for the UC Berkeley classes that I just showed you on the earlier slide. Those prerequisite courses are very important and you can ensure that you're taking the right one by going to assist.org and finding the articulation agreement between your community college and UC Berkeley. We only accept what's written on the articulation agreement and we will not accept substitutions. So here's an example of what the articulation agreement might look like. Um, between your community college and UC Berkeley. As you can see on the left, you've got UC Berkeley courses. And then on the right, you've got courses at your community college that may count for each of those prerequisites. All right, so let's talk about the actual application components. There are two components, the UC application, which consists of the personal insight questions or the essays. Uh, you've got the activities and awards and you've got the self-reported academic record, otherwise known as your classes and your grades. So that's all a part of the UC application. After you fill that part out, you've also got the Haas supplemental application. That's specific to students who selected that they want to do business administration as their first choice major. So in the Haas supplemental application, we have the Haas essay. We have the self-reported academic record on the prerequisites. And we have the activities and words update, which is optional. You only have to fill that out if you have new activities and awards that have taken place since you turned in your UC application. And then the final thing is a mandatory video interview. So in these upcoming slides, we're gonna go over each of the application components in the um, application much more in depth. So I'd like to start by saying we do a holistic review process. While academic performance is very important, you do not have to have perfect grades in order to be admitted to Haas. In fact, we don't even have a minimum GPA. We are looking to make sure that you took each of your grades and coursework um, for a letter grade in the prerequisites. And we wanna make sure that you're earning a C minus or higher. Uh, we're also looking at your prerequisites within the context of your whole transcript. We note course loads, grade trends, and consistency of academic performance. So that's a little bit about the grades. Now we look at the essays. Those are really important too because they allow you to share more details about yourself that you can't really exemplify in your grades or your extracurriculars. So this visual is gonna give you some tips on writing your essays. We encourage you to be as authentic as possible when you're sharing your experiences. Essays are also evaluated for writing ability, also your skills in organizing and presenting your thoughts and whether or not you answered the prompt. The essays you fill out for your UC application, also known as the personal insight questions, they will be evaluated alongside the Haas supplemental essay. So let's move on to activities and awards. We are looking for the quality and time you're putting into these activities. So here's a list of all the things that you can include and I really wanna highlight the family responsibilities portion because that is something that students don't realize they can put on their activities and awards, but yes, you should. And here are some examples of 
really big family responsibilities that you should put on there. Number one, if you're a parent, definitely put that on there. Or if you have a lot of parental responsibilities for your younger siblings, maybe you're needing to support your parents in um, doing important things for your younger siblings and making sure that they are getting everything they need to thrive. Also, I would really like to highlight work experience and internships. A lot of students worry that their application won't look great because they spend so much time working um, alongside school. It doesn't offer a lot of other time for extracurriculars. Well, don't worry. We want you to put your work experience in there as an extracurricular. That's really important. And leadership skills can be earned through working. So definitely put that in there and describe it. So there's a little bit about that. Um, one other thing I'd like to share is that if you do interpretation or translation for monolingual family members, you should put that in your activities and awards section as well, because that's very time consuming and it also requires a lot of skill and leadership qualities. So definitely put that in there as well. All right, so let's go ahead and just say a couple more things about the activities and awards section is that we are looking for your leadership potential, your impact, right? And it's definitely okay if you don't have any business related extracurriculars. We're not necessarily looking for students with business experience. We are looking for leadership, leadership potential, consistency and impact in whatever you're involved in. So do what you're passionate about and take advantage of any opportunities that come your way that allow you to exemplify leadership. Let's move on to the video interview. So the video interview is going to provide applicants with the opportunity to speak on their own behalf. All applicants must submit a video interview and I'll let you know a little bit about that. First of all, we're evaluating for content, not your appearance or how you speak. So please do not script your response. We wanna hear you talking to us as if we were having a conversation. So if you want some video instructions, we plan on having a future video about that so that you can learn more in detail what to expect. But really, you should know that we are evaluating you on content. So if you feel nervous, it's okay if you stumble over your words a little. It's okay if English isn't your first language. And it's okay if you're wearing casual clothes as well. Uh, it's not formal. It's meant to be just a conversation that you record. So let's talk about the timeline now. On October 1st, that's when you can start filling out the UC application. And then November 30th is when it's due. In early January, the Haas Supplemental application opens. And then January 31st is when the Haas Supplemental application is due. It is your best interest to not wait until the last day to turn in your application. So go ahead and try to get that in at least a couple days early just in case anything comes up or just in case you have questions that you'd like to ask before the deadline. So in late April, that's when the final admissions decisions are announced and we're always excited to welcome new students. Speaking of new students, we have a program for admitted transfer students. It is called the Transfer Pre-Core Program, also known as Pre-Core. Pre-Core takes place the summer before your first fall semester at Berkeley Haas. It's a six week program which provides students the opportunity to refresh skills that they will utilize during their time at Haas. It also offers weekly workshops with guest speakers to learn more about different industries. And also significantly, it helps you build community among your Haas classmates. You get to take these two classes that are listed on the slide for credit. So that'll help you get some major requirements completed before your first fall semester at Haas. We really recommend Pre-Core for admitted transfer students. 
So please feel free to take a screenshot of these excellent admissions resources. We've got our website. We also have UC Berkeley's Office of Undergraduate Admissions website. And we do have our Instagram page there. And here is some contact information. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to get your questions answered by us sooner rather than later. So if you have any questions, the first thing to do is thoroughly read through our website, including the FAQs. But if your questions aren't answered there, the fastest way to get a response from us is to email us or call us during office hours. And our email, phone number, and office hours are listed here on the slide. So if you have a very complicated case that can't be answered over email, then you can set up an admissions advising appointment with us. The link to that is on our homepage. So you can sign up there, choose a time that works best for you. So I would like to thank you all for having a little bit of spare time to learn more about how to transfer to Berkeley Haas. We're really excited to hear from you if you have any questions, and I'd love to wish you a wonderful upcoming semester. Thank you.